Hey guys, Tekno Shukuto video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your proximity sensor not working on your iPhone. So the proximity sensor allows your phone to pretty much uh, go dim whenever you're talking on the phone or pretty much close itself so that you don't pretty much accidentally click on any buttons or anything when you it's close to your ear. But sometimes it may not work and you want to follow these steps to ensure that the proximity sensor works. So let's get started. So the first thing is whenever you're having that issue again, is I would recommend is cleaning the screen, especially the top part here. So if you have a microfiber cloth here, you want to go ahead and slowly kind of clean that area, especially if there's any dust, grime, or oil, anything that could essentially block those sensors because the sensors lie right on the top here. And if it's getting blocked somehow, you want to uh, make sure that you know you clean it up and see if proximity sensor is working. Now, the other thing while you're at it is that if you have a screen protector or a temper glass, and that's installed new and it was working before it might be that temper glass over if your temper glass or your screen protector is damaged or cracked it you will need to of course take that off because those can also interfere with the proximity sensor and then the other thing i want to test out is that if you have a heavy duty case or case that you recently got sometimes there's magnetic cases that actually can impact the sensors themselves so remove the case and see if that makes a difference for you in terms of your proximity sensor working now after you have done that the next thing you want to do in terms of troubleshooting your video uh, in this video is that you want to go ahead and do a force restart on your iPhone so in order to do a force restart you're going to press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo at that time you'll let go of that button so volume up volume down one after another and then I hold the side button just like that I'm going to keep on holding it till the screen goes completely black so the phone shuts down fully and completely and then it will reload the software again once I see the Apple logo and I let go of that button and again this method will not delete any of your personal data so you don't have to worry about your photos videos apps or anything getting deleted all of that will be there all it's doing is again reloading the code so if it's a software related issue impacting your proximity sensor hopefully it will be resolved now after you have done that and you're still having issues with the proximity sensor is not working it's time to go into your settings and go to general and then go all the way down where it says transfer reset iPhone and then click on reset you're going to do the first reset which resets all of your settings and that's going to reset things like your network related settings so saved Wi-Fi password Bluetooth connected devices you have to have to reconnect again any uh, keyboard dictionary any custom home screen layout and any settings around location and privacy but this again resetting all of your settings will only reset the settings themselves it will not delete any of your personal data like photos videos or apps or anything like that and generally it will take about a minute or two to do that but it's necessary necessary whenever it comes to troubleshooting the proximity sensor lastly if you're still having issues it's time to go ahead and update the software of your iPhone in order to do that is go in your settings go to general software update and if there's an update available it will say download and install just like this and you want to make sure your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged connected to a good strong wi-fi or cellular data and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes in order to be able to download and install that update and hopefully after doing the update your iphone is working in a case that after following all these steps it does not work and there could be a couple of reasons why it doesn't work and and the most likely causes that there is a damage to the actual physical hardware sensor themselves for the proximity if your phone recently cracked like the screen cracked or if you accidentally dropped it at an angle such as that could be impacting the thing in that case you'll need to get it replaced or diagnostic at the apple store where they can run the diagnostic and really see what's going on there so i hope this video helped you guys in some ways if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time